Well, when I was a student at Kansas City College and Bible School back in the 60s, there was a sign out along Metcalf Avenue there. And of course, uh, people going up and down Metcalf, if they were to glance over at that sign, it would say Kansas City College and Bible School and have a little information about the institution. But on the back side of that sign that we students saw uh, many, many times, and perhaps even several times a day, were the words, Satan trembles when he sees the weakest Christian on his knees. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Light's devotional. And I was thinking about our prayer life. You know, we sometimes cannot help but compare ourselves to others. I've known some people that were known for, to be mighty men and women of prayer. I mean, it seemed like that they could touch heaven, bring heaven and earth together. Uh, they were just mighty in prayer. They were great men and women of faith. They saw great things done because they prayed. And I do believe that uh, those that have uh, maintained a, a great prayer life should be an inspiration to all of us. There are some mighty prayer warriors that ought to inspire us to cultivate the same spirit of prayer and to pray as they did. But like other areas of our life, sometimes we feel so inadequate in prayer. We try to compare ourselves with others and think, my, I can't pray the way they pray. I don't have the great faith that they had. And sometimes I think that we allow hindrances to prayer simply because we do not put forth the effort thinking our prayers don't do much anyway. But I hear again back to the little saying, Satan trembles when he sees the weakest Christian on his knees. And it really does not matter how weak we feel in prayer. We ought to just go ahead and pray. For I believe the Holy Spirit will help us in our praying. And that's what makes Satan trembles. It's not our little memorized prayers. I think a lot of times the prayers that we pray kind of amuse Satan. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for this food. By his hand we must be fed and we thank him for daily bread. Well, that's about the way a lot of our prayers are. Just little prayers that we've learned to pray, we put together. And uh, really not from the heart, just simply from the head. And I can say, I don't think tr uh, Satan trembles at those kind of prayers. But it really doesn't matter how weak you may be in prayer. I say just go ahead and pray. Because the Holy Spirit is promised to help us in our prayer life. Romans 8, 28. And I'm reading from the Amplified uh, Bible. And it says, so too. The Holy Spirit comes to our aid and bears us up in our weakness. For we know not what prayer to offer nor how to offer it, worthily as we ought. But the Spirit himself goes to meet our supplication and pleads in our behalf with unspeakable yearnings and groanings too deeply for utterance. And, and so we, we find... Uh, in the message, God's Spirit is right alongside helping us along. If we don't know how or what to pray, it doesn't matter. He does our praying in us and for us, making prayer out of our wordless sighs and our aching groans. And so the Spirit maketh intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. And that's why Satan trembles when even the weakest Christian is on his knees. Uh, our faith may be the weakest of the weak, and, and we may ha find it difficult uh, to put into words what we really feel on our heart, uh, but just go ahead and pray, and Satan will tremble. I hope Satan does a lot of trembling in prayer meeting tonight because he recognizes the, the, uh, he recognizes the potential of a prayer that is prayed in the Spirit. And so we may be weak Christians gathering together in the midweek prayer meeting, but I think Satan's knees are going to knock together. He's going to worry about what's going to be accomplished through our prayers. Heavenly Father, don't let us become discouraged because we are not as great as others in prayer. But Lord, help us just to pray 
realize the promise of the Holy Spirit. And God, we pray that you'll continue to go with us down throughout life. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lord Light's Devotion with Pastor Agent. Goodbye now.